there is some very interesting stuff going on here. This panel describes a system that takes advantage of capillary action to make a perpetual motion machine that supposedly generates free energy. So, there is a pond that is connected to vertically arranged carbon nanotubes which are known to be great with liquids in general. They are there to exploit capillary action and send water up to a sponge which will absorb it and then drip onto a cog, turning it to generate energy before releasing the water back to the pond. Alright now, what in the world is capillary action? In short, it is a phenomenon where a liquid rises or falls in a small passage due to surface tension and the attraction between the molecules of the liquid themselves and to those of the surface. Capillarity can lead to structural dampness that is when external water induces damage by penetrating the insides of walls in buildings. It happens when water runs down your forearms and gets absorbed by your sleeves, giving you that annoying and uncomfortable feeling. Now you know what to blame. Capillary action could make water go against gravity and because of that, it is crucial for trees because it helps bring the water from the roots through the branches and into the leaves. The most known application of capillarity has to be cleaning water with the technique that is shown on the screen. Now back to our panel. Look, initially the concept may seem plausible, but there will never be enough water to sustain that system, meaning a lot of water will go down, but only a small amount of it will go up, so it won't work. Since it is counteracting gravity, capillary action, driven by adhesive and cohesive forces along with surface tension, can only move small quantities of liquid into narrow spaces. But once that's done, the system reaches equilibrium and the upward force is balanced by gravity. 